In today's video, I figured I'd do a junk silver purchase from one of my subscribers and see if we can fill any holes in some of my albums. Hey everybody, it's Rob the Rob Finds Treasure and one of my subscribers reached out to me and had noticed that I was missing some walkers during my streams and said they had some walkers as well as some barbers and if I wanted to purchase them, they got them at a good deal and they would go ahead and pass on the deal to me so I could have some more walkers, some barbers, you name it. And I was like, let's do it. Now, that being said, to be fair to the subscriber, I said, go ahead and do a small markup on top of what you paid, plus charge me shipping. I want to make sure this is fair for both of us. Now, they've already gone through these coins that are inside this box, I'm sure, and checked against their album. But my barber half dollars and my barber quarter albums are pretty much sad. So I'm hoping I can fill some holes, maybe upgrade some. I'm not expecting much. And what I do find in here probably won't be very high grade, but I'm just trying to fill holes in my albums right now because I just recently started putting together my Barber albums. On top of that, we should have some walkers in here. So I'll have some walkers for my stream. It's been hit and miss with walkers and barbers lately for me, and I haven't done a good job of getting some. So I'm excited to get in it. Let me go ahead and open this up, lay out what we got, and we'll take a look. So I've got the rolls out of the box and as expected, looks like we've got $30 face value in Walking Liberties, $30 face value in Barbers. Now this one wasn't labeled, but I would imagine because it was $30 face that this is the other Barber. So I went ahead and wrote Barber on there and $13 face in Barber Quarters. So we're going to first open up the three rolls of Walking Liberties. Check to see what we got in here. Again, I'm not expecting anything other than commons, but I needed some rolls of walkers, so I'm happy to have them. Let me get them open, and we'll see what they are. As expected, we have $30 face and walking liberty half dollars. I was actually able to upgrade two coins in my collection. Not highly upgrade them, but upgrade them a little bit, and I'm pretty pleased with that. Again, I wasn't expecting to even get any upgraded, but we have a pretty good mix of teens, 20s, and 30s, and 40s in here, and that makes me happy. We'll get them sleeved back up. We'll use them for the live stream and move on to the barbers now. So I've got my barber half dollars laid out here in near order. Now, I've already checked all the backs. Obviously, there's going to be no key or semi-key dates. That's not expected, but I have my Liberty Head or Barber half dollar book here, and I have noticed that there are quite a few that I'm able to put in here because I'm missing many of the dates. I just started putting this album together for my junk silver purchases, so there's a lot of holes. I'll give you guys a look at it, and again, this is not a book that I'm very proud of yet. It's just the beginnings of the book. We'll continue to upgrade them through our junk purchases as we do them. But that being said, we've got a good mix of dates. A lot of them are worn, as expected, but some are in pretty decent shape. We've got an 1893, an 1894, 1897, 98, 99, 1900, 1901, 02, 03, 04, 05, a bunch of 06s there, an 07 stack, quite a few 08s, 09s, 10s, 11s, 12s, and then 14 and 15. So now my next job is I'm going to go through here and pull aside all the ones I need. That way I can show you how many I'll be adding to my book. So I've gone through all the Barber half dollars. These are the ones that do not upgrade or are the worst of the ones that I will either upgrade or add. Believe it or not, look how many I needed to either add or upgrade. And some of these, when you consider that they're upgrades, you know we don't have a very good book started yet. But it's early. Let me go ahead and get all these in the book. And then I'll show you the book that I have started. And again, I know it's not going to be high quality, but I just recently started accumulating some Liberty Head half dollars or Barber half dollars, and I will focus on this in future hunts and keep you abreast of it. All right, I've got the Barber half dollars put in my book. Got a couple of rolls still left, of course. Let's just go ahead and go through it. And again, this is just what I've got. So we're missing a lot on the first page. We do have that 1893, an 1894S, and an 1897. Nothing to write home about on that page. Second page, we start getting into a little bit more. 1898, 1899, and 1899 O. We've also got a 1900, 1900 O, the OS, the 01, 010, 01S, 02, and 020. So definitely getting a little bit more on the second page filled up. A lot of lower quality coins here. But then again, these are only through junk silver purchases. I have yet to purchase one good grade 
Barbara Half Dollar. I wanted to see how many I could find throughout the year or years without having to do a purchase yet on a particular date or quality of coin. So, continuing on. We've almost got the whole third page. We're just missing the 050. And as a quick pan, you can see them. So happy to get that 05P. Of course, it's been cleaned and it's heavily damaged, but at least it fills a spot. And this 07, despite the coloring, is not a bad coin whatsoever. Moving on to the fourth page, we've got some holes, of course, but we are missing the 08S, the 090, the 10, and the 11D. But other than that, the rest of the page is filled up. Not high quality specimens, but good spot holders for now. And then on the final page, we're missing the 13, of course, the 14, of course, and the 15. Lower mintage on those three bad boys, but we do have some decent examples for the other years and mints that are produced, and I'm happy with it overall. So we are able to fill quite a few holes, slightly, slightly upgrade a few spots. That makes me happy. I consider for the price I paid, well worth it. I don't see this many barbers ever, so it's nice to grab a stack of them. Now that we've done that, let's move on to the barber quarters, which, just like my barber halves, it's not a pretty thing, but I'm pretty sure we'll add some more to the book and maybe even upgrade a few. So I've got the $13 in face laid out of the barber quarters. We've got 1897, 98, 99, I believe in 1900. 1901, 1902, 04, 06, 07, 08, 09, 10, 12, 14, 15s, and 16s. Now, like before, I'll cull through these, see if I need any for my book, and then I'll bring it back in to show you the ones I plan on adding, upgrading, and or sleeving up for giveaways. So I've sifted through the Barber quarter dollars, and uh, you know what? We've got a pretty good stack of them here. At the end of the day, I think I can slightly upgrade or add to my album about nine. Nothing too pretty, but anytime you fill a hole from a junk silver purchase, that's going to make you happy. Let me get them in the book, and then I'll show you the ones I have after they're in there. All right, we've got the barber quarters added, and again, I want to preface it with I know they're not much to look at, but we're working on it. First page, I'm missing quite a few. I do have an 1892, an 1893... An 1895 O, 96, 97, 98, and 98O. Second page, I'm just going to peruse over it because you can see I'm missing quite a few. But, again, from junk silver purchases, I'll take what I got. I'm happy that we're slowly, slowly filling this up. There's a few semi-key dates in here, but nothing extravagant whatsoever. And basically everything in VG8 or less. The majority of these are fair, poor, maybe good for, but that's about it. Either way, we added some, upgraded some, and another successful junk silver purchase, in my opinion. I want to thank the subscriber who sold these to me. I appreciate it very much, brother. And I'm always on the lookout for the dates that I need and more junk silver purchases. I know I'm referring to this as a junk silver purchase because at the end of the day, when you look at the quality of the coins that I purchased, I'm going to refer to them as that because none of these are really high-grade constitutional silver. That being said, it's one of my most favorite things to do is to buy in bulk, see what I can add to my books, see what I can put in my collection, see what I can use for my streams. If you enjoyed this junk silver purchase, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.